The number of people living with diabetes worldwide is set to be on the rise, with Ghana included. In, uh, the statistics indicate that uh, in 2018, there were over 600,000 cases of um, there were over 600,000 cases of diabetes in Ghana without, with over 90% being the type 2 diabetes. Health experts say such, in, such a, in, an increase is largely due to the sedentary lifestyles, increasing obesity and poor dietary habits, such as the uh, consumption of energy-dense foods. The theme for this year's Diabetes Awareness Month and Day uh, World Diabetes Day is on the theme, the family and diabetes, the Diabetes Endocrine and Metabolic Society of Ghana, in partnership with International Diabetes Federation, is raising awareness of the impact of the disease. Uh, in information and also according to IDF, many parents and family members are not aware of the signs and symptoms of diabetes and are also not able to recognize uh, warning signs. The Diabetes Endocrine uh, Metabolic um, Society says undiagnosed diabetes, untreated and or undetected diabetes may lead to blindness, amputation, kidney failure, heart attack and stroke. And you'll know that in the last few days there have been several stories of uh, people dying young, especially young people, uh, sometimes even in their uh, 20s and 30s dying from which could be a factor of diabetes. Let's go to the phone lines now and uh, speak to Dr. Josephine Akpalu, Senior Lecturer, University of Ghana Medical School. Madam, good afternoon and thank you for making time to speak with us. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, can you help us understand what the current prevalence rate of diabetes is? Uh, what, what figures do we have and what information can you give us on that? All right. So in Ghana, um, we haven't had a nationwide survey to be able to tell exactly the prevalence of diabetes that is um, nationwide. But um, smaller studies have been done in the past which put the, the, the prevalence of diabetes to be about 6.3%, mainly in the urban areas. But this, this study was done some quite, quite some time ago, and so it's not it's not representative of what it is now. I believe that now the prevalence is much higher. Mm. From the IDF, um, that the International Diabetes Federation, they, if you go onto their website, they will have a slightly lower prevalence for Ghana, which is an estimated prevalence, which is between 3 and 4%. But yep. again, as I said, it's not uh, representative of uh, what's uh, happening. It's not very... It's projected that the prevalence is going to increase by more than 100% in sub-Saharan Africa by the year 2045. So right. it's something that is on the increase. And, I mean, what causes diabetes? We are told that it is a sugar intake, so we take a lot of sugar. And because of that, now people have stopped taking tea with sugar, cocoa with sugar. Now people are, as we say, without sugar. Is it just sugar that causes diabetes? Or when you eat rice the byproduct of it could be carbohydrate and then lead to diabetes. All right. So the, there, there are four main types of diabetes. So we have the type 1, type 2, and then the type that occurs in pregnancy. And then there's a larger group we put under others, which so many other conditions can lead to diabetes. Mainly when we talk about diabetes, we are concerned about the type 1 and the type 2 because mm. those are the ones that we see most of the time. Right. As you rightly said earlier, majority of patients who have diabetes have type 2. That mm. is 90% or more have right. type 2. Mm. The, the type 2 diabetes is not, it's not because you are taking sugar. That's why you get type 2 diabetes. Mainly, there is the predisposition or the risk which runs in families. Okay. That certain families may be predisposed to having the diabetes. Okay. But it doesn't mean every member in that family will develop diabetes. Right. It is when we find ourselves in an environment where there's a reduction in our physical activity or exercise, we are more sedentary mm. and we are, our diets are unhealthy. Unhealthy diet meaning that we are taking a lot more 
um, carbohydrate portions that we should. Okay. And we know that carbohydrates, when you take a lot of carbohydrates, the it body could, breaks it, could it down and, and, and eventually and becomes all right. sugar or glucose. Which, which we normally okay, do. and if you can be very brief for me on the last question, which has to do with what are the signs? What do I, what, what should, what is it that when I see, I should get to go for a test or I would get to know that I am getting diabetic? All right, so for the type 2, as I said, the majority, um, the sign, most people may be asymptomatic, that they may not show any sign. And mm. so it, they may be diagnosed accidentally or they go to a clinic or go for some screening and they check their sugar and it is high. Mm. Some people may have symptoms okay. or signs that show that they have diabetes. And commonly they may present with um, increased urine, urine production of relating a lot. That is right. Your urine volume, not the frequency alone, but the volume. The volume. And they are more thirsty, so they drink more water. Mm. Some may lose weight because of that. So there's no apparent reason, but they may be losing right. weight. Right. And they are predisposed to infection. And then they may present to the complications of diabetes. Uh, type 2 diabetes for the okay. first time. Thank you. Thank you so much for making time to speak with us. Definitely, uh, this is uh, an issue that concerns everyone, and we'll be talking more about it in, in subsequent bulletins and in the coming days. Um, Dr. Josephine Akpalu, Senior Lecturer at University of Ghana Medical School. So, bottom line, make sure you get tested and be in the known of your health status.